Welcome to the press conference. All, uh, all two of you. Uh, thank you. Um, before I, uh, we go into the questions, I know you guys have some heartening questions. I'm loving my time here in Chester. Uh, finally know where it is. I had no idea where it is. Right here on the border near Wales, uh, Merseyside and Manchester to the north. So, great. Um, any questions? Neither of you guys? Okay. Any, 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 any questions? Big game today. Wormwood. Relegation battle. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, do you want me to send the other guy? The other guy? Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 9. I think it's 9. I, I hope it's 9. If it's not 9, I'll be fairly disappointed. Uh, episode 9 of Toasty on Tour. And already with our second club. It, it's, we're not even 10 episodes in. I'm already uh, with my second club. Uh, but so far, we've had some, some great success here with Chester Football Club. Um, since last episode, we just played that first game. We lost to Sun United. And Sun United... Um, if you guys watched last episode, you guys know, uh, they are now, um, even with Ebb's fleet top of the table. So, uh, we played a very, uh, a very good team on our first game, and I thought we played fairly well. Despite our 2-0 loss, um, it was away from home against a very good team, and we got, um, and, and I was able to see what we have available to us. Then, we come up against... Torquay United, and we won 4-1. Got an early goal, um, well, 13, 13 minute, got that got that lead. Uh, they came back, which was a little bit disappointing, but Craig Mahone got a hat-trick, and he is our top goal scorer for this season, I believe. Um, is a very good player from what I can see. Uh, solid, um, 13 goals, and four of those goals, I think, I believe he scored in the next game as well. Um, against uh, tr uh, Macclesfield, uh, Chris Mahone there, 93rd minute, uh, got the winner there. So he by himself has almost has given me six points, and has almost pulled us out of relegation. Uh, came up against Tranmere, just didn't have it for us uh, going forward. Not a bad game, I would say, and it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, weren't able to to get the uh, the goal to at least get us a point, but we're in a good position right now, and, um, playing Bournemouth, I think also the problem with that was, it was a, not a, not a derby, I think it was a rivalry, I don't think it was a derby, though, um, against Tranmere, but, um, but still, um, we weren't able, we weren't able to get a point, but they're a solid team, they're, uh, on the edge of, of being in that, um, playoff spot, so fair play to them. And uh, so now we have warm wood, and we have three games left. So it's a good sign that we've against teams in our area, as far as um, not playing. You know, we haven't done well maybe against our uh, against the, the the better teams in the league, but we have been able to score and win against teams in mid to bottom table, and that's what we need to do. And warm wood is another one of those games that is away from home, which is tough. Um, and they have picked up some points, um, but as, as they're on all for now, that's all. They've also won a game. They've also played well since I've joined um, Chester. So both teams in reasonable form, I would say. Um, I think they've since they since I joined, they've probably actually gotten seven points the last three games, I believe. So they're also in some good form. So never mind. I am off. I am wrong. Um, they have won, but still they've won, uh, they've, they've got some points, which is good. So, uh, there's not, there's not somebody I can take lightly. Um, and I have, we have to go out here and play our game. And I think we can, like I said, I've, I've been impressed with, with, uh, with some of our play so far. And, um, hopefully that means we can get a at least a point today would be nice. And I think that might be enough to get us over Maidhead and Wrexham and get us up there with Dover. Um, but 
like I said, it will be huge um, to see what we can do in today's game. And this is really tiring now. One spot goes down amongst four teams, uh, all within one point. Even more and more, if we get a if we get a victory today, that could pull them down near everybody else. So it is a very huge for us today. So let's look at the lineup and get into the game. So this has been essentially my starting eleven since I joined the club. Uh, Lynch, Halls, McComb, Fielding, Pierce, Owens at uh, number six in there. Uh, Turnbull's been playing very well. Kingsley James. Uh, he is more of a kind of defensive midfielder, but I like him up up front there in that uh, attacking center mid spot. Uh, Craig Mahone, our, our our goal scorer on the right. Akin Tube, who's played really well, slightly out of position, but he has played well. I've been happy with the way he's played. And Ross Hanna hasn't lit it up, um, but has played okay. Maybe striker somewhere that we can change things around. But um, as long as we keep winning, as long as we keep getting points, that's all I care about. And um, hopefully we can get a result, like I, like I said. Um, the formation seems to work, uh, the formation, the, um, uh, the, the instructions, I haven't changed at all, roles, it's all been pretty much the same, and I think it's worked, worked well, um, and I think, I think we'll, we could set up well today, um, but we can't, a draw, a draw, I would take a draw, I would take a draw, I know that's not a great thing, um, but, a draw, any point, any point we can get right now is huge because, like I said, there are four teams battling for the spot. So we just have to finish up. We don't have to finish the top of these four teams. We just have to finish above one, and that would be great. As we start off with the ball here in the yellows, the yellow kits have already kind of screwed me over. Um, I believe in that game where um, Mahone scored that 93rd minute. I think I was cheering for the wrong team the entire game because the other team we were playing were playing blue. I think it was Macclesfield Town wearing blue. And we were in yellow, and uh, they, we scored a 93rd minute, and I was uh, slightly sad. Um, but then I was able to pay attention, and I was like, oh, that's us. And uh, Kane Smith gets an early goal for Bournemouth. Not the start, it, not the start we wanted uh, from a corner here. Um, he's just pretty much unmarked the entire time. Um, a couple of others around here, he just kind of pulls away. Um Still fairly early, uh, but not the start we wanted at all, um, I would say. Um, we've already picked up a few yellow cards, or two yellow cards early, which is interesting, within 15 minutes. So um, that might be something I have to look at, is making sure these players are not doing anything crazy with tackles. Um, we haven't been too bad today. I mean, uh, stats are pretty even. It's just we kind of turned off there for a second on the corner by, uh, by Bormwood, but... Still plenty of time in this game to get back into it. Um, have to just bunker down and uh, and get it out there and uh, do what we can do. Um, what? Like, I don't even know... What like what his idea in that was like I I honestly can't even think of like what he was even trying like the the player was probably never gonna get to that ball and he just sticks a foot out like thirty five yards away like I I'm I'm so Rob Fielding like wow what a mental lapse. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I guess the worst foul, like I've seen bad fouls, like bad fouls happen. That's like just a stupid foul. Like that was idiotic, like like mentally just, just I, do, I don't even understand how that, like that could probably be like straight red because he was behind that player. Um, they gave him two yellows, but I was already saying we had to watch out for the other cards. That's not what I was expecting. I was not expecting him to just stick a foot out like that. That is, I am stunned. Like that. Like I, I have no idea. I have no idea how that's even a thing. My God. Um, but 
that puts us in a terrible spot where we have to chase this game um, for for we've had chase for a game for like an hour, um, even maybe longer, and um, we have to get a goal here. Um, really puts us in the top spot. Um, all the control. Um, we have plenty of people in the midfield, which is nice. Um, but uh, if we put them in the right place, that might help us. Um, but we're not in, we're not in a great spot to really do anything. Um, we're gonna have to hope that um, a Mahone or Akin Tude can um, can just have a moment of magic or or a moment of craziness by by Boreham Wood as well. Uh, can we get that ball? Nobody getting the ball. Ball over the top. Balanta who just shoots wildly um, away. Um, I mean, I'm just <sighs> this definitely puts us in a, in a tough spot. Turnbull though. Yes, penalty. That is a penalty. I knew they would make a mistake. Let's go. We're gonna miss it probably though. But can we do it? Can we do it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Paul Turnbull, one of our better players, our number eight. I think he's number eight. Can he just step up here, stick us in the back of the net, and put us in a safe spot? Oh, that is not a great penalty, but he scores. And we are have drawn 1-1. One, one. That puts us out of the relegation zone. Beautiful. Beautifully done. This has been a terrible game. Ugly game. Um, red car stupid red cards, stupid penalties. And we need to do something. Uh, go back to counterattack. Um, I'm gonna put. I have nowhere to put Mahone. Um, I can two days and go defense board on defend. I'm just gonna put a lot of midfielders. Bam, midfielders all over the place. Another ball away to midfielder. That's what he's around. Uh, Shaw ball away to midfielder. Bada bing. All three of them ball away to midfielders. I don't know about that. Um. Deep line playmaker, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, we're going very, very defensive. Um, if if I just wanted to draw earlier, I definitely want to draw now that we're down ten men. Um, but can we get a winner? Actually, that'd be absolutely incredible. Another, another penalty, another penalty. This man, this referee, give him a raise. Give him a raise. This man is a genius. I have no idea how we've gotten two penalties so far. My God, can Turnbull do it again? Just don't kick it at the keeper this time, man. Put it to one side. There's two sides. Don't kick it right down the middle. Come on. Or if you do kick it down the middle, make sure he goes to another side. Can we score again? And we've scored again. We are up 2-1. Magically. I have no idea what the hell is going on. What is this game? I love the champ. I love the Van Ram National League. Amazing. We're up 2-1. Great offense. We are playing excellent. Excellently done here. What is going on? Um, we are 2-1. I have no idea what the hell is going on. They are going to attack us for sure now. Um, that's, a, that's a goal. That's a goal and a half. Um, Mur Murtaugh has scored a... Murtaugh... Has scored a uh, a solid goal there. Beautiful strike, I would say. And we are back 2-2. Probably kind of not really fair, but I'll, I'll still take it. But we have to we have to definitely hold on because this could, um, if they do keep attacking us like that, because um, they do look like, unlike us, who have scored two goals via penalties, they actually look like they could score goals against us. Oh, wins here. But can we score an actual goal? I have no idea. Oh, oh, that was actually fairly close. Uh, Akintude almost scores a goal for us from the corner. I'm probably underselling that. That could probably have been very big for us, but I, um, I'm, I'm kind of just worried about getting out of here with, uh, with a point. Um, Hall's here uh, on the throw-in. James, uh, James playing with the ball. I have no idea why. Akintude, uh, that's not a good ball. That's not a good anything. We need to win the ball back. A foul something. Now we can't foul anybody. We can we can foul any people earlier, but now we're just letting them play around with the ball. Shakes. Barnett. Ball over the top. To Liber. And he was... What is that? Oh, my God. We have screwed ourselves over. 
It has all gone to hell. Um, now we need to go attacking, and we have no attackers. Um, that was no. This not this not gone well at all. Um, that was that was a quick turnaround as far as really on a high to really on a low. Um, I mean, it was it was it was always going to be very tough. Um, we have 15 minutes left to score a goal. Um, if you'd have told me before this game, if you hey, you're actually going to score two goals, I'd been like. We have a pretty good chance of getting out of here with a with a, with a point, but man, that that Rob Fielding red card is just I, I I'm still now I mean now now definitely pissing me off considering what we've done since then able to score a couple of goals fair enough they were from a penalty but still and uh, as they got four and uh, it's completely unraveling for us um late in the second half we were um. Going it was fair, it was going fairly well for a while there, um, and it's just gone all to hell. And um, and uh, I thought I had done a tactical uh, masterpiece, and now it's just a pile of garbage. And um, and we're down four two against a, a team um, we are rivals with as far as getting up this. Uh, uh, this year, um, we have Sander in our place. Maidenhead has picked up a point, or they are about to pick up a point, which is uh, kind of disappointing. It's Dover Athletic, so both those teams are facing each other. Um, so I actually probably wouldn't mind if they both kind of drew, but I guess if Dover loses, it's not it's not the worst thing. I don't know. It's um, this game has not been very. Uh, is not very happy. Has not made me very happy. I know what I'm saying because I'm not very happy. Um, as Maidenhead gets a third, and um, and we are going to lose this game. Um, yeah, we're gonna lose this game four two. Um, God, what fielding yet red card pisses me off. It's giving me a headache just thinking about. It. Um, I mean it. And our changes. I mean, I, I brought, I took out Mahone and and Hannah, our striker, and the guy that scores most of our goals. Um, Akin today did the best he could, but um, yeah, yeah, that was not that was not a great game. Um, defensively horrid, I would say. Um, what are you doing, assistant? What am I doing? Just tell them. Y'all were garbage. Defense, absolute garbage. Assertive, I'm not happy with defensive work. A couple of them are reasonably okay with that. Um, as far as schedule, there's not really much to talk about. We have two games. We have two games. Hopefully, all you would need is one point, maybe two points. A win. A win would, would be a magical thing to happen, but I'm not sure um, based on uh, how we're playing right now. So we have Maidstone, who is seventh, and Boro, who are ninth. Um, Boro have been have been beaten by Bournemouth, maybe. Um, both these teams are top top half, which um, makes me fairly worried because the teams we've been good against, uh, except for Bournemouth technically, um, have been bottom lower half teams, and um, maybe these are two kind of. Um, they're not indicative of what we played, but I feel like they are indicative of what we, we, we can play. Um, so hopefully we some of this magic in there comes up against Maidstone or Boro, um, but it's going to be very tough. And uh, and that that loss to, for, for, against Bournemouth has um, put a damper on a... Uh, I was a fairly happy time, at least at first year, um, uh, with Chester. It was I thought it was going fairly well. Um, now it's, we're definitely in a dogfight, um, uh, so with that, with that victory, Maidenhead have kind of pulled away, so now it's basically a four, four team race, a uh, three team race instead of four, um, Boreham Wood are definitely out of it now, they're safe mathematically, clearly, um, so three teams, um, 
after next week, it may be two teams, and it's going to be either, you know, two teams might be left. So, um, it's going to be very tough, and hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can do it, and, uh, because I don't want to get fired again. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and take care of yourselves.